a blessed day and welcome the verse for meditation this morning comes to us from the book of matthew chapter 26 and 25 then judas the one who would betray him said surely you don't mean me rabbi jesus answered you have said so before the passover meal judas had already struck a deal with the chief priests to betray jesus for merely 30 silver coins in exchange for jesus's life and yet he had the audacity to remain in the presence of the innocent son of god today what can we learn from judas's life the first lesson we learn is that the real sin judas committed was not his betrayal it was rather his rejection of the light which caused him to betray jesus judas refused to return to jesus because he didn't truly place his faith in jesus christ if he did believe jesus was god he would have never betrayed him for the price of a slave Let us not imitate him. No matter how many times we stray away, we can turn to Jesus for forgiveness and healing. When we make a mistake, we must return to the Lord instead of running away from him and the fellowship of the brethren. The second lesson we learn is that Judas never believed that Jesus was the son of God who was capable and able to forgive such a grave sin if we truly acknowledge the divinity of jesus christ when we fail instead of living in self condemnation and rejection we will approach the throne room of god with boldness confess and repent believing that we are forgiven The ability to believe we are forgiven is crucial to our spiritual growth. This was the defining difference between Peter and Judas. Peter went from the shame of his threefold denial to becoming the chief pastor and leader of the initial church that was founded on Jesus Christ the rock. Judas could not contemplate the possibility of forgiveness and therefore he went into unimaginable darkness which ended up in suicide dear beloved guilt can either destroy or purify the outcome of the feeling of guilt solely depends on our approach the same sun melts ice and hardens clay today the choice is ours to either humble ourselves before God's word or to reject it through the hardening of our hearts let us choose wisely let us pray abba father we believe with all our heart that jesus is lord help us to remain humble and teachable always in jesus name we pray amen shalom maranatha